Hi guys, I'm Kamonoshi. Welcome to my Japanese lecture on YouTube. Today's lecture is Japanese diary example in three lines, just only two lines. In this lecture, I want you to learn about Japanese grammar or words or expression via my sample Japanese diary. And today's theme is I studied and I learned it. Okay, anyway, let's check English version. Today, I studied Japanese at school. I mainly learned about Japanese grammar. It was not easy for me, but I want to study more about it. Not so difficult diary in English version for you, I guess, but in Japanese, how about it? Okay, first I read this diary in slow speed. 日本語を勉強した。主に日本語の文法について学んだ。簡単ではなかったけれど、もっと日本語の文法について勉強したい。next in ordinary speed, ordinary, not fast, ordinary in Japanese. Ready? 今日は学校で日本語を勉強した。主に日本語の文法について学んだ簡単ではなかったけれどもっと日本語の文法について勉強したいはい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
I guess if you practice by some actions, you can memorize just shape of kanji and reading and meaning. But you understand this word. Is it enough? Then, uh, in another case, if I teach you, uh, kantan means easy. And in Japanese sentence, mm, kantan na, kantan ni, kantan da. Some style. And kantan na means easily. Kantan ni, easy. And kantan da, easy. So for and for each uh, for each style, kantan na. Kore wa kantan na mondai da. Uh, sorry, kantan na easy. And kore wa kantan na mondai da. In English, this is easy question and kantan ni watashi wa kantan ni kono mondai o tokeru. Ah, sorry, one more mistake. Kantan ni easily. I can solve this uh, question or problem easily. Kantan da. Kore wa. Hmm. Kono mondai wa kantan da. This. Question is easy. So, kantan has uh, mainly three styles kantan na and kantan ni, kantan da. And for each style, uh, here is, here are sample sentences. Kore wa kantan na mondai da. Watashi wa kantan ni kono mondai wo tokeru. Kono mondai wa Kantanda. If I teach you uh, this way, maybe I think you can learn this Japanese word kantan. Okay. So difference between uh, I say again, difference between these two words, study and learn, is action or action plus understand and study benkyosuru and learn manabu study in japanese benkyosuru and learn in japanese manabu please remember the difference between these two words and please remember in japanese style two in english different way different pronunciation different uh different spell and in japanese too benkyosuru manabu different shape different style different pronunciation okay now how about said lecture that's all for today thanks for watching and see you tomorrow Thank you for your watching. Let's subscribe Kimono Hashi channel. Check another Kimono Hashi's stuff on the web. See you next lecture.